So here I am, Reno, Nevada, to check out a joint that's been open since 1956. And get this, these folks have only closed the door for one day in all that time. They have been rocking and rolling old school style 24 seven for over 54 years or 473,000 hours. This is Golden Silver Inn. Meatloaf, extra gravy. Best gravy in town. I like the bread pudding. Made out of donuts. This is the local's place to go. This is it. I feel like it could be the mid 70s. Hello. Which I really like. Serving slots on one side and steaks on the other. Ribeye steak in the window. Cooked up by executive chef Lenny Curtis. Biscuits and gravy. Who's cranking out all the classics. BLT sandwich and a chicken fried steak on table 10. And a few recipes of his own. One order of lemonade pork chops, please. Just a golden silver favorite. We're going to make uh, the lemonade for the baked lemonade pork chops. Lemon and pork, I dig it, but really lemonade you made. Yeah. Start with whole lemons, rinds, the seeds, and everything. And we add sugar. Grind them to death. Now we add in what? Water. We process them up. Going to strain the pulp and the juice out till we get about a gallon of lemonade. I've never seen lemonade made like that. Would you like to taste it? You have the oil in the rind right. getting into that. That's why that tastes so you rich. You the bam, the true flavor. That's changed my lemonade attitude. This is all coming together for what? Our sauce for our lemonade pork chops. We add the ketchup and we add the brown sugar. Three nice cups of soy sauce. Give it that good salty flavor. Vinegar? Apple cider vinegar. Give it that little bit of bite. It's an interesting concoction, my friend. Paprika. Make it nice and red. Chili powder. Granulated garlic. Granulated onion powder. Black pepper. Where did you first make this recipe at? I try all my recipes on my children and my wife first. All right. Then we're doing ginger, basil. And you have thyme, fresh, and some fresh oregano. Then you stir it up. Now, the pork chops, you're gonna bake in the sauce. You're gonna bake in the sauce. Okay, let's do some pork chops. Okay. You cut your own chops. Yes, I do. Cut your own steaks also, everything. This is what I'm talking about. Slow down, take a look around. I've driven right by this place. Mm -hmm. We're adding oil. You can hear it simmer. We start flouring. One pork chop at a time to season. A fried flour? Yeah. Okay, so just brown both sides, let that breading hook up. Exactly. Oh. That's what I'm having. Are you ready? Do it, brother. Hit the sauce right over the top. You want to stir it up before and in the middle of the cook. OK. And it is going to reduce. Yes, it is. Get it in the oven. OK. Double plastic, double tin foil. 350 for about, I'd say, an hour and 45 minutes. You ready? Do it, man. You can smell the aroma. It's nuts, man. Look at the sauce, Hoss. There you go. Nice and juicy. Got your pork ready? Mm -hmm. Dude, that's Flavor City right yeah. there. It reminds me of sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. A little bit of heat, a little bit of vinegar. You get a little bit of that bite in there. See how the sauce is cooked all the way down into the chop. This is the old school style and probably the way your grandma made them, but with a new attitude in some really big flavor. Cool. Yeah, I have the lemonade pork chop. The pork chop is to die for. It's fall off the bone tender. Porky deliciousness. Lemonade pork chop. And they always have great food. High tech sandwich. We love this place. Well, you came here since I was like this big. I've only come here for 50 years. Oh, just 50, just round number. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. This is an institution. It is. The owner, Jeff Payne. How are you? Has been running since 1989. How are you folks doing? This really turned into kind of a three or four generation business now. That's still cranking out third and fourth generation favorites. Medium rare. Like, get this. Ground beef pounder. A one pound hamburger smothered in homemade gravy. Uh, veal gravy. A veal gravy. Yes. Veal bones? Yes, veal shanks. Roast them off in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours. Look at that. The flavor is from that marrow. How do we put it together? First, you put the marrow claw in. Carrots, celery, yes. and onions. Tomato juice? Right. Then you put the onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of white pepper, salt, salt. braised veal bones in. Is that blonde hair I see? You guys see what's going on right here? What color is your hair naturally? What's yours naturally? I, who knows? I haven't seen it in a while. Scrape the bone marrow off of the pan. That's what really makes a good stock gravy. Take it. Fill her up with water. So we've got about three to four gallons. And then we add the tomatoes. How long we let it simmer? 48 hours. Really? Yeah, it cooks for two days. Wow. Then we'll strain it. Right. And get into making the gravy. Yep. Take the caramel color. Nice blonde roux. Work it in real good. Let it continue to cook for a good 45 minutes to an hour. And this goes on that big one pound patty, too? It goes on the big pounder. Start it off on the grill to sear the meat. It keeps in the flavor. 80 20? Yeah. But it's Angus ground chuck. About as good as you can do. OK, so you put a little mark on it. Yep. Oh, that's looking good. You ready? Yeah. One pound ground beef steak. Look at that. Right on there. Oh. Caramelized grilled onion. Gravy on the patty. This is about as old school as it gets right this here. This is even before my time. Mm. 
Captain's Gravy's outstanding. Real flavor. 48 hours. You can taste it. Little things just like getting it from scratch, having the grilled onions, just doing the food right. I like that. The ground beef pounder. The gravy's rich and beefy. Kind of like Salisbury steak, but more hearty. Ground beef pounder. Just falls in line with everything else, which is good food. Five chip sandwich in the window. With a sauce made from, get this, grape jelly and pepper and ketchup. And it all starts with 10 pounds of tri-tip. We have to trim the tri-tip. That's a great piece of meat. Real big in California. Okay, it's all trimmed up. What do we got going now? It's the marinade for our tri-tip sandwich. Homemade barbecue sauce. Make your own barbecue sauce. Yes, we do. What don't they make is the question. And the beer. And we put about two cups of water. Get it out a little bit. Cracked peppercorns. And we stir it up real good. It's all together. And you just pour this stuff in to the top. Put it in your refrigerator and let it set. Okay, so where are we at? Take the tri-tip. Start it off on the grill. We mark it real good. Both sides, and then we'll take it off. Throw them in the oven a little bit. Get them to a medium rare. Okay, now what are you making? We're making a uh, homemade sauce called a mahogany sauce. I gotta see the grape jelly thing. First thing we do is add butter. The onions, and you add the bacon. We're gonna leave that fat in the We're gonna leave the fat in the sauce so it sticks to your ribs. We add the ketchup, then you add the grape jelly. Ketchup, grape jelly. Yes. That just doesn't look right. Oh, it's wonderful, dude. Liquid smoke. Grape jelly and liquid smoke. Now, how long will we let it simmer? About 40 minutes. Just let it reduce down. Okay, so we're cooked down here. You sure that this isn't playing some game on me? It reminds me of Swedish meatball sauce. I actually have used it at weddings on meatballs. Yeah. I was at that wedding. What do we got going now? Take the tri-tip, we slice it real thin, start it on the flat top. Then we want to add the onions. So you see where the meat starts caramelizing, we turn it over. And then we throw it into our mahogany sauce. Stir it up in there, and get it nice and soaked and wet. And lay it out on the sandwich. Look at the color on that, that's crazy. Some of those good caramelized onions. Take a look at that. A meal made for a king. Mm, that was a good sandwich. That mahogany sauce, that's weird. But we are good, like, you want to go, oh, it's barbecue sauce. No, 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 sweet and sour sauce. No, no, you don't know what sauce it is. The tri-dip, by the way, is mega tender. I like this little thing you do where you come from the from the grill to the flat top, and you did it with the burger, too. Put a nice little crust on it. It's intense caramelization is what it is. Mm, nice job, man. Right on, Great job. It's very tender. It's very juicy. Tri-dip sandwich with french fries. The flavor is just explodes in your mouth. It is so good. Oh, I had one. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. Two lemonade pork chops and one fish and chips. This is really old-fashioned, good cooking. And they've got everything. The slot machines over there. 24 hours. <laughs> I've seen joints all across the country. I will definitely tell you, you got one of the unique ones. It's so. great. We're happy to be here. Nice Thanks. to meet you, brother.